you for tuning in to the Kanye Boys podcast, man. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you black with us. Today, we got a lot of ill topics for you. Without no further ado, I am Kanye Boy Fredo Davis. And I'm Kanye Boy Ron the Don. And together we are the Kanye, Kanye Boys, Boys Podcast. <laughs> we talk the best ish around the city. If you ain't never tuned in, yes, we do. just know we unfiltered. You know, we got a lot to talk about today. And uh, you want me to start with my topic, Brother hey, Ron? Or you There's want to start no Ralph Tress band here. There's no sensitivity. So right. take it how we give it. I'll start my topic. Go ahead. You start I want to do um, what you call, what's a deal breaker in your relationship? Now, I got a couple of them, deal breakers in a relationship. Uh, letting go of the sexy and that, that farting and burping shit around you. Your, your significant farting and other, burping? Around your significant other. At some point, like, you got to... You can't come on, man. Man, that's supposed to get. That's supposed. That's supposed to be the de- development. That's what it's supposed nah, to develop don't into. Don't do that shit in another room somewhere. Or something. Come on, walk man. walk off, man. Don't do that, man. You losing so your, your sexy. Came far you losing your sex. Fuck no, you losing your sexy. Damn. I don't give a fuck. And a deal breaker, low to no income. And another one is um, hygiene. Hygiene. Okay. Yeah, I, be, I, can, I can rock with the hygiene. You can't be musty. Your drawers can't be dirty. Yeah. Yeah, the crunchy draws and yeah. all that. The crunchy draws. Like, yeah, it smell like ocean water. It smell like sea and moss. A, another uh, <laughs> another deal breaker too for me is uh, shitting with the door open. I don't know if you shitting your woman, but you know. It depends. If I love if I love a chick, man, it's like certain shit she can do that other women can't do. Stay mature. Now, if, if I, I love you still too though, but it's just the thought of. I heard your turds hit the water. <laughs> So you will leave a chick, that's a deal breaker. Let's say y'all I'm been on, together. I'm on my way out. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit with the door open, I'm on my yeah, way out. Boy. You need to stay single for the rest of your life. No, I don't, man. I just <laughs> she do, nigga. Especially if she <laughs> fart and my nose bleed a little bit. I can't take that shit. <laughs> nah, when it stink, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't, don't like expect it to stink. I wouldn't fart around my mate or do no burping shit like that. I'll walk away from the table or go out the room. You know what I mean? I'm not into that. You know what I mean? Just deal breakers in a relationship. You know, some people are immature about it when they're making those choices, and some people are mature about uh, decisions when it comes to that. Like, that. My, like my homeboy, he weird. He like that shit. He like when the girl fart around. I mean, I'm cool with it. Like, if I if I love the chick, she can fart. You better fart in another room around me, bitch. But this house if, too big for us to be sitting beside each other. You farting and stinking up my personal space. But if she if we just got together and this, you know what I'm saying, it's like the, the within the six month mark. I'm like, you better act like you ain't got no asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. want you to. Hey, what? What? What you say you finna do? You finna go shit? <laughs> no, you're not. And then later That's on, that's what we are now. We late, ain't shit. Later on in the show, we're gonna have a female on here to get her perspective. You know what I mean? Deal breakers are for everybody. You gotta, you know, take care of your hygiene and all that shit in a relationship. You know what I mean? Keep yourself up. You know, manicure. You know, you know, do what you gotta do. Pedicure, all that shit. Cause and deal yeah. breakers with women. Requires lack of money. The minute you fall off, she gone. Cheers to the deal breaker section of the Kanye West podcast. Damn, okay. Deal breaker. Dudes, we drink up the best yaks in the city. This is White Hennessy tonight. I left the uh, other shit on the other side of town, but uh, you know. We start, start our day off with some spectacular drinkings of yaks. The deal breakers, man. Come yeah, on, deal man. breakers, they I don't man. believe you with the deal breakers, man. Cause there's certain things that'll make you look at a woman, and then you 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 your, your whole shit'll change up for. Her. I feel like you just talk. Nah, nigga. If you if go in the bathroom and you, around you, and you love her. I had a chick fart around me the other day, man. I went, it took all my might not to punch in her ear hole. <laughs> like women fart stink like a mother. Yeah, that ain't normal. Especially when they eat McDonald's and all that shit. Roll down the window. My ex used to lock the window so I couldn't roll it down and be like, bask in the glory of success. She used to do shit to me like that. I used to be so pissed at her. Lock the window. These deal breakers, man. Oh, yeah, uh, domestic violence. That's a deal breaker, man. I, I don't like uh, all well, It depends on who it is. Is you or her? Nah. Domestic violence is a form of screaming at each other, lowering each other's self esteem. Nah, too. I'm talking about if she feel like she can just haul off and mm, yeah. and, I, and, and whatever like that, it's time for me to go because I ain't. That's the last thing I'm gonna be so, sitting uh, in jail. A, a woman, st- a woman stole on you before. You want to talk about it today? Let's Hell speak yeah. Shit, niggas that woman stole on me. What you do? You farted in front of her? No, nah, baby, it don't uh, take much. Hell, she be on a goddamn cycle of coming up off her. Of yeah, yeah. You yeah. be like, we ain't stopping that Papa John. She be like, motherfucker, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Trying to kill everybody in the car. That nigga Ron done been beat before. God Man, damn. I've been beat by several women. I've been beat before too. I've been scratched up. But I remember one time I was about to go to the club and she just kept scratching my face for no reason. I've been sprayed with mustard before. Hey, shit happens, bro. But you know what? That's the only thing that saved me, man. Because, you know, uh, I had a chick knock on my door after I hung up on her. And she came to the crib and I opened the door. And you know, you thinking like, yeah, she came to get some. You know what I'm saying? She came mm -hmm. to get some. Yeah. Man, nah, nigga. She whipped out She whipped out that mustard. It was a fresh, fresh bottle of mustard, too. Wow. Sprayed me all in the face. What the fuck did and you do wrong And then she started there? swinging. What did you and do wrong there? And somebody old told her that shit. To yeah, do that somebody shit. told her that. That yeah. shit burned like a month. Damn right, go spray mustard. <laughs> well, I couldn't even do that. I was like, yo, she hit me. I'm like, psh, psh. I was like, yo, I know she ain't just spray me with no We got, a, we got a, a hotline for you. Ron been beat by his old lady. 1 800 Kanye Boys Podcast. And we'll get somebody out there to help you keep those women from whooping your ass. So, man, call I said I've been beat by a chick. I ain't say that. It, she beat you. She mustered you. She maced you, basically. Uh, do you feel like if a woman hits you, you should be able to hit her back? Me? Are you asking me no, or I'm you asking people at home? Do you feel like... Because if you put your board. hands on me, I'm going to mollywop your ass. I'm going to duck your ass. I'm going to put your hands on me. I'm serious, man. I've been beat before. I don't like that shit. I don't, I don't like that shit. Don't put your hands on me. I'm a fly nigga. My gear costs too much. I'm be smacking me and shit, shifting my shades and shit. Fuck all that. Don't touch me, yo. <laughs> Hey, say but, what you want to say. Don't touch me. But I feel like in society, you know what I'm saying? We live in a society where they teach women that it, there's no consequences behind a lot of stuff that they do. So like, like with your daughters and stuff like that, right? You got a little boy and you got a little girl. If the little boy, if the little girl hit the little boy and he hit her back, most of the time it's like, don't you hit her? She a girl. So her growing up like that. I see it all the time. No, I'm saying I understand what and you're saying. Her growing up like that, and she get older and older and older. Then she has that same thing with the dude that she dealing with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when but she hit nobody, him, ain't nobody there to tell you don't hit her. And then yeah, <laughs> then, but then but then hold on, right? It, it gets further. Once she get hit by a dude for hitting him, mm -hmm. not saying that's the case every time, but once she get hit by a dude for hitting him, guess what happened after that? All your cousins, your brothers, and all that stuff coming to jump on dude and hell. Sometimes the dude can get killed behind yeah. that, right? Well, if I so, get a domestic situation with a woman, nine times out of ten, I'm packing after that. If she got brothers in there, I know they can pull up on me anytime. Hey, she'd probably be going to their goddamn funeral. Or, uh, I look going to yours, you never know. Nah. And then how we do is, like, we continuously deal with the women. Yeah, and that's why he shouldn't get in like it. That, though. He, he shouldn't be in it. The setup is when you come in the house and it's all dark and you know you always leave a light on. The thing is to open the door and cock your pistol. So whoever's sitting in there knows it's about to get ugly. You hear me? See, I've been in these situations, Ron. That's why I tell you, you know, not saying that I fucked a woman up if she wouldn't got her you brothers and they in my house. You see, you, you, listen, I know stories and I dealt with women to the point where it's Dave, Dave, what's the word I'm looking for? Vindictive. And now, she they, done set it, to me. they set it all the way up. And to the point where if you get you get set up when you're vulnerable. So what's a real man? What's the shit that women always say when they get mad at us? I need a real man. A, a real, real man, man to do this. A real man to pay my bills. A real man to pay my condo. A real man to cook for his woman. A real man to rub my feet. It's just a manipulation. I feel like like I feel like it's it a is. manipulation for them to get what they want. You get what I'm saying? Like hey, you so right, brother. Like, yeah, I'm, and it's like like. You talk about stuff like paying bills, right? Nobody likes paying bills. Like if you, you could live to. completely for free, you would live that way. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice house and stuff like that. If you could live for free, you would live like that. It's just like a woman. You know what I'm saying? A woman will uh, live like that if she can. You mm -hmm. feel me? But they try to say this stuff from their oppression. Like all that stuff come from women was oppressed and they couldn't, they couldn't work, they couldn't do this, they couldn't do that. It's more opportunities for women nowadays. So like they just keep on making up stuff to put pressure on men because you got to put the pressure on a man in order, you know what I'm saying, to to make a diamond. Nah, nah I don't know about making a diamond. I don't even. So know. where's the I real? Where's like... the real man handbook? Since uh, we would need to know what a real man is because there is no, a real put... man got a dick. I got a dick. 
I'm just saying the way these women you know always say that. Like, these women always say that. Real man this, real man that. Like, you know. If you tell them go clean up, then they, they say, I ain't no damn maid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you, you cook tell me, them, you cook me something to eat. Yeah, you cook me something to eat. What the fuck? It's, that, it's, like, it's like only way you're a real man if you're giving them something. Or mm -hmm. like even with a father. Like only way you're a real father is if you're buying your child something. So if you don't have the money or something like that, you're not a real man until you get some money. You can spend time with your kid. That's a real the father. Time don't too. matter to them because no, the government. A kid, a kid, a kid loves you for the time you put in with them, especially if you're teaching them something. I can say that for a fact because I remember times I was dead broke out on my back, but I could go get my son and kick it with him and we could go to the park, Centennial Park, or we could go boxing and go jogging. He remember those things, you feel me? Because when you don't got money, you got to think of creative ass ways to hang out with your kid and spend that time. You know what I mean? Time don't equal money in that situation. And equal Money don't equal time. So, I mean, like, you got to do what you got to do as a man. Don't don't let a woman take that away from you. You know what I mean? Because a woman will tell you that all the time when they're mad at you. Like, you know, that manipulation thing. You ain't no real fucking father. Yeah. A real father. Like, this. like my, my baby mom used to tell me, I'm going to get your daughter to call somebody else dad. And I was like, that's your, your way of playing games for me to piss me off. But hey. I'm not playing your game. But so, like, go ahead. Like I say about, uh, like, I got a joke like that. Like, about your mama and your daddy. You know what I mean? Like, like. Your mama could have been whatever to you. She could have been not been there for you. She could have been a crackhead. She could have been whatever. The minute she ready to be a mother, she can come back and be a mother. Like, your daddy missed two birthdays. This nigga ain't shit. He ain't, oh my God, my dad. I wish he would have been around for 16, 17. I'm telling you, I would have been an astronaut. Like, no the fuck you. You wouldn't have been, you would have, like, everything get blamed on the daddy, bro. Yeah, no matter like, what. Well, my dad, when it came time for me to choose my future, he was like, so what you think about doing after high school? It was like, nigga, I ain't going in the military to be away from my family like you. You know what I mean? I couldn't talk to you and all this stuff. You out to sea. You know what I mean? I don't know how long they go out to sea, whatever, as a kid. But you imagine calling your dad, he out to sea, baby. All right. You don't know when he come back. Yeah. I was like, after a while, I was just like, you know, I had to feel that void. All the OGs start showing me love like dad. Like, they, they became like uncles to me. You know what I mean? and taught me the ways of uh, how to survive and make money for myself. You know what I mean? Without hustling with them niggas, cause them niggas, all the niggas around me was hustlers coming up, you know what I mean? A lot of people see that in my persona too, when they see me too, they tell me I dress or I move like a hustler, you know what I mean? That's the niggas I came up under, you know? But when you say hustler, what you mean? You is a hustler. Niggas, yeah, I am. You know how to make nothing to something. That's to what something a is, so. to a whole lot of goddamn lot of. So, so how y'all feel? Tell us how y'all feel at the bottom of the screen, you know what I'm saying, or in, in the comments, you know what I mean? Tell us what y'all think a real man is, uh, and, and, and where is this all coming from, and are we all human beings? Um, I want to know about uh, equality, when women say they want to be equal, right? And I'm cool with equality. But this is my thing right here, right? When they say equal pay, equal work, right? Okay, let's go to boxing. That's my favorite, uh, uh, my favorite sport, right? The women complain and they say, "Well, we should, we we want to get paid like Floyd Mayweather, or something like that." You know what I'm saying? Build up, whatever, whatever. The women boxers should be get paid like that or whatever. Okay, but they only fight two minute rounds. They don't fight championship round, and if the fight get ugly, they are not going to let no woman get beat to a pulp. You know, one thing about me, I don't want to see no women fighting boxing. I mean, but they, they passionate about it. That's what they're doing. That's go, your, that's your go job. Do, go do something else. But hold on. But I'm talking about equality. Now, boxing, let's, go, let's go to basketball. All right, let's get basketball, right? That's cool. I like chicks. Okay. Man. There is no LeBron James in the WNBA. Yes, sir. Is that her name? I mean, uh, the name is Lisa Leslie. Lisa Leslie. Lisa <laughs> Leslie get dunked on by uh by by Steph Curry. Where's Ch where, where's that <laughs> and girl? And she's sixteen. Ch Chasmine Jones. <laughs> Chasmine Come on, Jones. man. But you you you. They look at it like we being sexist. But I'm just being fair, straight across the board. If the WNBA All Stars played the NBA All Stars, it would probably be ten to ninety five. So it probably less worse than that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, there is no force like uh, LeBron James in the WNBA. There's no force like, uh, uh, what's the boy name? James Harden. Yeah. There are no, you know, uh, Kobe's, no Jordans, all that in the WNBA. It's just like, 
You just, have to look at it from a female standpoint. There's some girls out there that play good too. What about was it Reggie Miller's sister? She was nice. Reggie Miller would dunk on her and put it the ball no, down. No, you her putting throat. a guy. You talk about a guy to a girl. We talking about they was they girls good, and girls. They not good guys. for girls. Yeah, but you don't put no guy against no woman in no W. But if you want equal pay, you have to do. Even they not even doing that to the girls. They not gonna let them girls play in the NBA. But no, this is my point. They're not doing that to the girls. Like they not putting. They not dunking on them. Are like they that. letting those bisexual things in the um? Nah, nah. They ain't WNBA? got. To, they ain't got to the WNBA yet. That shit would be so but, sad. But think they about in the it. MMA though. Yeah, they in the MMA. That dude I've crushed that. that woman face, man. I seen you're still that. a dude. I don't care how much you say you. You, I, I, I'm, you are hey, whatever if, you were born. If it's equal, then that's we gonna not keep equal, bro. It is equal. You got to be a sick motherfucker to think a grown man could go in there and WNBA, whatever, whatever uh, MMA. Well, stop stop MMA. With the equality then. So understand Who that. Who will stop the equality? The government understand, or what? Understand that you're not a man. And if you get your, if you support like a transgender woman mm -hmm. being a woman and you get your ass whooped by one, then you ask for you ask for that shit. Yeah. You ask for that like that's why that's why everything getting all lopsided. You know what I mean? I'm cool with women getting paid equally like being doctors, a doctor or whatever. I don't feel like a man has a, a, a physical advantage as a doctor. I feel like a woman doctor can do everything that a a, a man doctor can do. Uh, lawyer. I feel like a woman lawyer can do everything that a man lawyer. Do so. I feel like equal pay. Yeah, you know what I mean. But even if you not go in to sports, though, who not in sports, yeah. not in sports. I feel like uh, I feel like men should get paid more than women in sports. I don't really understand why they ain't do female boxing though, man. Sheesh, I man. I mean, I ain't, I ain't never watched it like that. But I don't I don't like to see women that aggressive. That's manly to me. But some of them manly. It was a. Uh, I just seen it was a Spanish boxer. She got a baby, but if you see her, she looked like. She, Alejandro yeah. Karahursko. She, and she talk like this. She talk like this. She said, I have to, I got to bond the anger in you though. I was like, yo, that is a dude. They said, no, she got a baby. Yeah, adopted baby. If you born a male, that's what you are in all these sports. You can't just change it up and say, I'm a woman now and go in there and dominate that sport. You dominate that sport and become a superstar because you, you, you turn your back on your, your your, uh, what is that, the well-being of yourself, yeah. of a, a male or a female. There ain't like too many females be like, I'm a man now, I'm gonna go do all man stuff. So, what if one of the females dusted his ass, like... I like, would love to see a female outrun a dude. There's some females see, out here that outrun us now. But, but he, he, he portraying as a woman to get in their sport and win, that's cheating. But, he okay, was born is, a male, bro. Is he portraying to be a woman or do he really think he a woman? I don't, I don't know, you get Like, and I'm not saying that, uh, what I'm saying is this, right? If you're gonna have- He could never be a woman. If, no, nah, I, I agree because- you, Facts! You can't have no baby. You can't have no baby or, or you don't have a menstrual cycle. Or, you can never you know, be a woman. You can't be no woman. You can you know dress I mean? like, put on the makeup, the wig, the eyelashes, put on these, uh, whatever these things, the spanks or whatever. Yeah. But you still got man hands and man feet. Hey, if he chop off his thing, uh, to be a, then be, you could be a woman. Yeah, you could be a woman. I'm sorry, like you, you know what? Ain't no shortcuts. Cause there ain't no way in hell. <laughs> there ain't no way in hell. Yeah, you want to be a woman? Chop off your manhood. Like everybody wants to be dominant and and be more important than the other, but they they refuse to realize that it takes two people to have a goddamn baby. Yeah, it do take two. A male yeah. and a woman. It Not takes, a male and a male. Not a, a a female and a female. It takes nuts. A man and, and a woman. Yeah. So that's that's what makes male or female. I don't, I don't I don't know what is this. What's this new gender? What they call a new gender? Cause you, I mean, like it ain't like they born herm hermaphrodites or whatever. Now you talking about the transgender shit? Yeah, that's transgender thing is what. But is trans? Trans is mean they transsexual. Yeah, but if you gotta call yourself a trans woman, that means you know you're not a woman. What is and Caitlyn Jenner? Hold on, and then if you talk about bisexual, if you agree with being bisexual, then it means you know it's only two sexes. Mm. So what is Caitlyn Jenner? A dude. A goddamn man. And with that being said, but, we're Kanye Boys podcast today. We're gonna leave that whole, uh, you know that that. But if he cut his dick off, he a woman. I don't give a fuck. Baby. That's a. Would that's you a fuck her? Would you fuck it? No. Would you fuck it? No. No.
What's up, hey, that's guys? our bartender. Hey, yeah, what's you going can on? refill me, bartender. I'm trying to drink it. What are we drinking? This white Hennessy. White Hennessy. <laughs> Hennessy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have passport to get this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we got a female in the place to be on the Kanye Boys a podcast, real female. We're gonna change this up. Yep, she does not so, have a dick. Was you born a hermaphrodite? In my drawer, I have a dick. But All right. Yeah. I was born the with a vagina. The dick is this long. See? See, she was born with the vagina. Born <laughs> with is the key word. Only. Whatever you born with, that's what you are. Male, female. Only a vagina. Only. Only a vagina. But that's not true. What? That whatever you're born with, because really what you are is your chromosomes, your sex chromosomes. XX is female, XY. True. It's male. Or XXY, you still a male, but you may not have a, you may have a vagina. Dang. What the fuck is XXY? That's fucked up. Um, it's called, um, see now you're making me use my medical education that yeah, I haven't studied you... in a while. Uh, <laughs> this is so called the doc here. It's the doc. <laughs> What's, uh, how do you feel about women and men equality? We're not equal. We're different. Do you feel like y'all equal in certain areas? Of course, we can be equal in certain areas, but we're not equal, like, you know. I know. Physically. But I'm, I feel I'm, like you I'm a male, doctor, alpha male, and you're a female. You only alpha whatever. male because you call yourself that. No, I really fuck shit up. That don't mean you're alpha male. Yes, I'm no, dominant. it does not. I'm dominant in everything no, I do. No, no, let me, you can say that, but other people might view you as something else. An alpha yeah, male, that's your ego. Back. The alpha male is just your ego or whatever like Until that. I hit him with a bat, and then whatever. That's gonna make you an alpha. What am I doing if I'm dominating okay. everything I do? Okay, another question. What's an alpha male? What is an alpha a, male? The leader. Asshole. It's the leader Me. of the pack. And what are you? What do you consider yourself? I would consider myself, I, I mean, I always lead. People always follow me. He don't hang with nobody. He hang by himself. I got people that I lead. I don't have to be around to lead. Do you have to? I don't think you have to. I don't be a consider leader. myself no alpha or none of that. I don't like. I don't like tags. Okay. Okay. There you go. At all. Well, like, that's what you should say. I am say. me. I am three hundred and sixty degrees. I'm in tune. Like cause I'm, I'm just cool. I, don't I got I emotions. I dominate whatever I get in though. You know, I got emotions, but back to equality. <laughs> like, like I feel like this is how I feel about equality. I mean, I don't feel equal right now. You all have drinks. Can I not drink? You are in the front. I'm in the back. I don't like this. We need a little more equality in this threesome. Threesome? <laughs> <laughs> I want something to drink. You got all the goddamn liquor. I want a seat at the table. At the table? Yeah. yeah let's can go we, somewhere can more we go comfort, somewhere else? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's go. move this to the bedroom. This is better. See? I thought we was talking about equality. That's We're what equal I'm talking now. about. Yeah. This is, I got something to drink. You got something to drink. We on the equal playing field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now get drunk with us and talk more shit than us. Okay. I can do that. Thank you for tuning in to the Kanye Boys Podcast. We are black again. <laughs> hey. So, what, how I feel about equality is, okay, it's sports, right? Mm -hmm. Like I say, there's no LeBron James in the WNBA. Do at you, all. Do you watch WNBA Yes, games? I do. And they're boring. Well, why do you watch it? Because Protection I try to ass. get my chance. But women complain oh. about nobody support the That's WNBA, only. but it's more women than it is men. You know why you're bored? They ain't at the game for the either. wrong reason. Who? I watch for tits and ass. But yeah, you can't. Now the football league now, they be I like they football I like league. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like that. Yeah, I like Woo! the women football because they playing in thongs yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, thongs and jump. One time I seen a coochie lip. I was like, Yeah, I let my son watch all that. My son be like, oh, oh God. Ooh, he be embarrassed like a little bit. Okay, see, a lot of women would be offended by that, but I'm not offended by that. Offended by what? Hey, if they that were talking about That y'all watch sports for tits and ass. That doesn't offend me because... Women's sports for tits and ass. But why do you think women watch, watch sports, sports for? for they don't watch it for the game. They watch it for them niggas and them tight facts, ass pants. Facts, facts. There you go. I get chopped in the throat every time me and my husband watch a game because I be like, damn, did you see it? What's his, who is that? Who is that? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he, he be looking at. You know, he said, put your hand up. No, my feet. You know, I ain't no marks on the feet. That's how they used to beat women. Back, back in the, the day. Wow. Beat you on the bottom of your feet? On your feet. Leave no marks. You got to walk around. Why would you beat her feet? Whoop her ass. Man, back no, to... No! You can't like, say that! Back to equality, man. Her ass cheeks. Stop teaching him her how to beat cheeks. women without 
What up? What up? Leave him mark. I know the problem. How are you going to explain to the police they come here? He a beat woman my feet. Ever. They going to be like, bitch, you There is never a reason to hit a woman. Next step. Never, never a oh, reason oh, to hit a woman. Oh, oh. Never, never a reason to hit a woman. Even if but she spray all the reason to even knock even a bitch out your car. Mustard. And then punch you all in the face. There is never a reason to hit a woman. Why not? There's always a reason to hit because, a bitch, though. Hold on, because men, you guys are supposed to be so logical and not emotional. So use your logic. Do you hold really want to go to jail? Is that what a real man do? Hold on, do let me, you let me, really let me, 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 let but it's Even always that, a reason to hit a bitch. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me explain this to you. Yes, you when know, she pee on the carpet because bitch is female dog, and that's who we're, we're talking, talking about. We talk about female dog. We talking about dogs. the bitch that scratch you in the face, spit in your face, spit in and, your and face, and key up your car, and won't get out your car well, you when you just, got something. You should do. just walk Ask away. Ask yourself right? why are you dealing with those type of women. No, at some point she she's not that woman in the beginning. She becomes this. No, she's that woman. Controlling. If she becomes that, you made her that. So everything. So it's always up. us. So when she you guys go crazy, are the leaders of the relationship. What? But she keeps so, telling us we ain't real men because we don't pay all her bills. And, and what's the other shit, Ron? Everything. You ain't a real man because what? What else? Uh, uh, don't the director. Me. I'm saying I don't care if they don't. I don't. I don't even okay. listen to that shit. I ain't a woman told me I wasn't a real man. There's I'll show you what a real man do. Man. It has to be duct tape in the closet. <laughs> What kind of duct tape? You been but to listen. prison before? No. <laughs> but, but listen. I'm a duct tape era nigga. Like, okay, I feel like that's a problem with society. Mm -hmm. Nobody holds women accountable for anything. And y'all like, do a lot any, of shit. Anytime something go wrong, is a man fault. But at the end of the day, the minute we say y'all not logical, they always, oh, well, uh, what you mean I'm not logical? I can think for myself. But, <laughs> okay, it, it's all, only when it's convenient for you is that answer that answer you get what i'm saying can but we, men can be very emotional themselves absolutely. because most of us are raised by women so what we're talking about is human beings there you go. basically there is no all men are this way all women are that way let's talk about the different types of people the types of women that scratch you and hit you and punch you and try to control you i have the that types that of is. men that don't pay all the bills mm -hmm. that duct tape you in the Closet. Can we just types? Let's That's just types. hypothetically speaking. Let's just say types. I'm not really putting them in a closet. But Let's hypothetically, need to be there. type of men that put women in the closet. Okay. Types. Yeah. Let's talk about types. All right. Types. Okay. Is there ever a reason to hit a woman? Yes. A um, certain type of woman. There's a reason to hit everybody. I feel like I feel like it's always a reason. Nobody's exempt from getting their ass kicked. If you do something, like I feel like there's no reason to hit a woman if she didn't hit you. Like point blank period. But if she like, hit you, you're gonna hit her back. Depending on the degree of the hit. Like okay. if she come at me and she got a knife, she getting laid out. Of course, she got because a gun, that's, she that's laid a deadly out. threat. If but, it's a deadly threat, you will be hit. So ladies, you do gotta not, meet my auntie. No knives, no guns. If you driving no bags, in the car, no weapons. my auntie beat the shit out of three police officers. You really think I'm finna let I'm not hit her back? I'm fighting for my life. I'm would, fighting for my life. If, I, if I was a cop, I would have tased the shit out your ass. They couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't. She was, bro, I swear. You can't tell me what I can't do with my job on the line. They I couldn't. The shit out this her. woman was grabbing their guns. They, anytime, like, I don't know how, she was quick. She was, she was, That's she, your aunt that she was hot. to be at all the shows. Come on, man. So you don't, feel like they no, should have hit come. your aunt? No, I'm just they saying. They couldn't. That, but do that, you feel uh, like they should have? Hell yeah. Okay, auntie. They would have had to. Auntie, I'm not on your side. He got some wild women in his family. <laughs> they, they alpha females over there. Okay, let me say this. I don't believe in hitting a male ever at no point of time because I got my jaw broken by a guy when I was 16. What a nigga. Because out. I we'll was stomp that nigga out. But let me tell you, people are mad, but I'm not mad at him. Shut we up. mad. We're going to stop that nigga in the nuts. I'm not mad at him because, nuts. like you said, I had to learn my lesson. I came at him thinking, what's up? This, yeah. this a fight. This Tyson at Holyfield. So I thought, because I can fight, I can box. I was Male trained. Male versus female boxing. You got here late. We was talking about that. And <laughs> so, they fight for two minute rounds. The guys be so, pulverizing the women. So that's not fair. So that's one reason why I feel like I will never hit a man ever in my life. You know life. what I Ever like about me, you? I learned my lesson. Yeah, I'm glad you and learned And I'm not lesson. mad at him. He was defending himself. I was putting him hit the quarters on him. Then he quit yeah. the whole 
damn round. He I wouldn't have hit you in the face because he could have went you to jail for a long time. But, but who the I hell gonna be your wrist in a fight, you, bro? I'd have made yeah, like, Ain't nobody thinking like that you, in a fight. Ooh, ooh, I'm not. I'm not. When you do that, I'm a headbutt your ass. If that's the case, because he wasn't. If that's the case, you need to be in the I'm gonna say the truth. Like he really, he had to do what he did because I hit hard, and we were children. We both learned lessons. He apologized. He has a daughter. We both understand that. Violence should not occur between men. Well, and you women. started it, so I didn't start it. You are that type of woman that we was talking about back no, then. But now that you learned your lesson, but she learned now, lesson. Now that you learned your lesson, and you don't hit me in no more. So we, you need to say that. Empty more. She don't hit me in. I would never, more. but I will shoot you at any point that I think you are threatening my safety. Bow. That's why I carry a gun because I'm not hitting you. At well, y'all so leave her careful. alone because if she, leave she me shoot alone because I'm scared for my life. Yeah, you get shoot. I shoot women too. You do not shoot women. So women is them from getting shot too? <laughs> you yes, should never shoot a woman even if she got a gun in your face. No, yeah. if, or if she no, has a she weapon. Did. If anyone is threatening your life, deadly weapons, you should shoot them. That's the point. There's but places but you if, shoot it's, if, it's, if they don't have a weapon, then you can restrain a woman. But don't hit her because we're fragile. Not all y'all. We're flowers. All y'all not fragile. You're not flowers. I feel like I feel not like flowers when listen, you're on your period. I feel like women represent themselves. <laughs> no, no, themselves. we're not flowers before the period. Once the period comes, we calm. Listen, I feel like good. women. I feel like women represent. They they look at themselves and represent themselves by the best possible woman they can think of. But when it comes not to the dudes, they think of the worst possible male or whatever. Like some that. women. We said types. Most. We're gonna talk types. Yeah, most types. I remember this one time that I went out with this one particular chick. And um, she ran the checkup, and all she kept talking about was, I, I need gotta wait 90 days to hit this and all that. 90 days? 90 goddamn days. I, ain't, 90 I don't just give my shit up to anybody. You, you know how much money you gonna be out I had sex in two years and all that, you know what I'm saying? So when the bill came, you get what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? It's gonna take me 90 days to pay this motherfucking bill. <laughs> 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 or we gonna be washing dishes, bitch. <laughs> so, are you trying to say you're paying for the pussy when you go out on a date? Yeah. It depends. Is that yeah. what you're doing? It depends. It's a down payment. If that's it the case, then the let just slide you the mortgage bill. It depends on It depends Nobody on Nobody cares about your responsibilities. That's so, you dating a black man? Or you married to a black man? I am married to a black man. Great. Black so About black time. Black, black love. love. I could have sworn Without you Without any oh, violence. I we don't have sworn. any violence in our relationship. Yeah, because yeah. he don't talk much. He just black. Mm. That is not true. My husband is very uh, vocal. Vocal? Yes. This motherfucking trash need taking the fuck out. And my <laughs> foot hurt. And my foot hurt. <laughs> I pay the bills, bitch. My husband does not That's talk to me vocal. like that. So what's the deal breaker in your relationship? Me and Ron discussed earlier because you got here kind of late. Um, we had a couple of topics. Uh, little to no dough. Um, let the sex appeal go. Uh, shitting while the door open, uh, farting and burping in your man presence. Uh, what was the other two, Ron? We had some more. Okay, so Damn, don't say we, nigga, because I, I shit can fart around me if I love him. Yes, I feel like, like I'm farts okay make with that. I feel like that. Closer. Yeah, that made me. It, yeah, yeah, I like nasty ass nigga. Yeah, I like, like to my fart kid. And I be like, can you get that? And my husband be like, oh my god. And I'm like, that's love. We love each other more. We are How long y'all been together? Yeah? We've been together five years. Yeah, so now at that point, you passed the farting stage. Okay. I'm talking six months to a year. No, you your ass in another room. Can we room, stop bro? being childish? Let's be real. The purpose, the purpose of relationships that determines what kind of relationship you want. For me, I feel like walk out the room, yo. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me, smelling like that. I feel like Listen, a relationship. Not, don't talk to me with morning breath. That's not, a deal breaker. But I give a fuck. Talk that way. I hate I'm morning breath. You. I'm done Nigga, you I will hit you in the face with a pillow. I don't give a fuck. You must have OCD. OCD or some shit. What the fuck? I hate more than breath, yeah. God damn. This, this Another is. question. What is the point of a relationship? Can the we point. talk about some real things? Like, deal breakers. No, 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 no. What is the reason You don't have to, no deal breakers What is the reason to get in a relationship? To build to build a kingdom or a dynasty together. Okay, cool. Kingdom, dynasty together. What's your, what's your point of being in a relationship? You really need a relationship to be successful? No, no that's not what he said. I don't think like that. But what is your point? What's my point to get in there? I don't yes. want no relationship. What is the purpose, being, no. said, what is the purpose, purpose of, of being in a relationship? I plead the fifth. I can't answer that question. Go to commercial. Childishness. Okay, so I agree with you. I, I feel broke. like the point of being in a relationship is to raise a family and generational wealth. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, to build a dynasty. I feel like that falls in that category. It doesn't even have to be a dynasty. I wish Everybody's all of that could that be. Ambition. I wish no, that could be all up under one roof saying. with one woman. I wish that could be because I got a family over here. I'm getting money over here, Man. and then I'm in a relationship right here. This shit is crazy. I'm fucking crazy off That's this shit. That's your baby mama calling right now. I told her. <laughs> but, I'm just but saying. When I say dynasty, dynasty to me is, you know, dynasties. Family building, generational wealth, mm -hmm. right? Stability, focus. In a relationship, when you're not chasing ass all the time, That's you can focus you, on your goals. That's if you want a relationship. Not everybody's good at relationship. So I wouldn't put nobody in a relationship situation. The relationship, you have to find someone that you can be good with. Somebody got to be goal-oriented and they got to be a go-getter. Like me, you know what I mean? I'm... The type of person is like you got to be just as much of a hustler as me. I don't care if it's corporate or street okay. or comedy club. So your 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 relationship purpose is building generational wealth. Somebody else that got ideas and, and viewpoints to motivate me. Stroke okay, so too. where does the sex come into that? So if you find someone that's goal oriented, go get it. But she's horrible in bed. Is that a deal breaker? You gonna make her? You How go, horrible nah. can a woman be? Okay, that's bed. not a deal breaker. I know. You. <laughs> How horrible can a woman like, be? Horrible. I mean, no, no. The last, no, the last couple I, of chicks I, I banged love to be on their back more than they. Do is it. that but, a bad thing? But even that. No, you gonna get up and ride some dick sometimes too. How lazy, long though? Because I got I like a care. thirty eight second <laughs> maximum. <laughs> like with me, you gonna like, ride till I climax. After that, it's a workout, and I'm not trying to work out. I'm trying to orgasm. Can we be clear? Like, see them pretty women ain't shit. Nah, but see, I feel like, I feel like. Requested. But I feel God, like damn, I'm a woman always him. gonna be requested. You passed out your business card. But, but I feel like <laughs> this up, when it comes uh, to sex, Facebook like, market. Like with sex, I feel like if the two people got a connection, like the sex always gonna be good. You Is know it what always? Yeah. You right. You I, right. Every woman I've you ever right. had a connection. You said they got a connection. No, you gotta understand what the connection is. If y'all, if y'all really feeling y'all fucking with each other, y'all feeling each other, and shit happen naturally, that's gonna be some good ass sex. Now, I agree. Now, if you just see the person like, damn, she got a fat ass. She's like, oh, that nigga got a nice hairline. And y'all just do something. <laughs> like, y'all kind of forcing it. You know what I'm saying? Or she's I like, agree, cause damn, I that nigga got a baby leg. Oh, That's like, a no. Damn, she got some wet you ass You already coochie. made that point. Oh. I, like, I have a connection, like, back in my past life before I was married. I liked some little dick men. That was rich and this handsome. Is, I love little dick rich men. Like that's definitely my thing. Dick, but rich the connection man. is there. The connection was there. It was little there. dick rich. They are the man. best. They know all the tricks, all the ways to touch you and lick and yeah. That just little dick rich me. men are the best. So what you, what you don't like big dick rich niggas? I do niggas? not like big penises. Like that is not what is me. Big to you? That is a, that don't. is a that is a misconception what is, in the world. Why we women do always not, want big dick. I mean they always say they want big dicks. That that's little girls you talking to. Because real women know that big penises, you have to do that almost every day. You don't want to do that every day. You have to be able to wake up or be half sleep and still I allow your porn. man to penetrate you. I, I, agree. I blame porn because I like, agree. I blame porn because you just like with the Mac, I'm going to talk about the condoms, the Magnum rappers, right? The Magnum condoms, when they first came out, they was like super big. Now they're the exact same fucking size. How they you played know? the fuck everybody. How you know? Because I had both of them. Ron, you have that very sensitive vibe about you where you I mean? feel like, you know, you may be one of the guys I'm talking about. What guy? <laughs> Little dick rich guys. Nah, I mean, I don't have a little dick, but I mean, it ain't like. It's okay, it ain't a baby dick. Okay, can we talk about this? How come no man <laughs> wants to admit that he have a little dick? You can say, yeah, my dick is average, but I'm good in bed. When I meet no women. No man will admit that. When I'm I meet not women, that's dicks. my conversation. I'm not going to have big dicks. dicks. And I, we don't I, even I, like I, big dicks. I got some great dicks. Medium dick. gang, okay? It's okay to have a medium dick. Those are the best. I'm gonna make T-shirts. Check out my website. I'm trying to put this whole knee. But everything, everything is a facade, though. You know what, what I'm saying? What you mean? See, you said I've got a little sensitive. I don't, I'm not sensitive at all. You but, are sensitive. No, I'm not. But I just don't give a fuck. It's like this. <laughs> if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. If Facts. you do, if you like me, then that's cool. But if you don't, somebody else will. Because it's about the I connection. I understand the value of myself. Right? You know okay, what I'm saying? That's and cool. I'm extremely spiritual. For, so my my spiritual whole life doesn't move around you sex. Use. Somebody will, gonna fuck me. And we'll burn sage on you. <laughs> <laughs> Some chick gonna suck this dick for free. For free. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got you got a, you got a forty dollar night too. I don't got no forty dollar. I got a four hundred thousand dollar night. And if I, and if I, and if I had night. to pay, would you pay? How much? It depends on the pussy. Is it? 
sex worth paying for? No. Forty dollars. Not when it's supposed to be free. I wouldn't want no forty dollars because I feel like that come with STDs. The food, no. The, the forty dollars. The forty dollars is not shit. You might just get burned any for average 400. woman. The forty dollars is for you to go get some gas or some breakfast or something the next day. I don't need no gas or breakfast. I yes, need you do. Y'all women, y'all women ride around on E all the time. You know how much stupid. I just paid eight hundred dollars for a wig. We ain't in. You know what, you we need, ain't into all of that. You need to bring yourself down to the average level. To the medium, medium dick level. level. You're a little bit. I'm already medium dick level. I'm already paid for, so I don't got to bring myself down. No, no I'm six. talking about so so you can relate to, to to the other women because you got most women don't. They they are not like you. Did you hear this nigga? A eight hundred dollar wig and you got good hair. Eight hundred dollar wig. So what? Yeah. See, women make bills Crazy and then they want you to pay. Yeah, they up. make bills. You See? got me fucked. I'm oh, not gonna pay. Oh, oh, hold on, man. Hold on. Can a we bring it back to what we talked about okay, earlier? All right, all right. A woman's value is um, not only her beauty, but beauty adds. It's inspiration for you. So if Don't my get hair caught is up done, in your beauty. my nails and my toes and my makeup, that's good for you. you Come on, man. We always late because of you. I'm coming. Oh well, now you made me mess up. Oh. You gotta put all that makeup in. Man, you better shut up. Always late, you. So what? Goddamn, still ugly. You looking at all the girls on Instagram? No, nah, so I don't care I about them lousy hoes. I want to see you in real life. Lousy hoes. Yeah, all I, that I shit really, on Instagram really is like lousy women to me. Without, that don't put makeup on and shit like that. That's what? like I told her she got natural beauty. See, she was you? like, I need makeup. No, this is me personally. I mean, but for cameras. Nah, for the even cameras. with the cameras. That's 4K. That shit don't see enough zip, water. So you look like you got makeup. No, because when I don't, when I take my makeup off, I actually think I look better. You do. You do. We see you. But I don't know if that translates on camera. Yeah. Well, it's ask okay. the cameraman. Chitty Beyonce right there. wears makeup, and Beyonce is a beautiful woman. But you ever seen Beyonce got them walking on the beach with all them dents in her head? Let me stop. No, nah, you talking about Kim K, okay? Beyonce ain't got no dents. Don't Shit. come for the queen. Don't do the queen. Period. Oh, Delete, that. Delete that. Delete that. You part of the beehive. All day. I from like Texas. Beyonce, but she Texas she got imperfections too. Don't, but don't do her. She do. I, but I, she's I would beautiful. Do her if Jay -Z hey, y'all ain't gonna keep arguing over a bitch. Ain't neither one of y'all gonna. First of all, you're not gonna call Beyonce a bitch. Yeah, don't talk. Don't say that. If about Beyonce, Beyonce is a bitch, <laughs> your sister's a bitch. This oh. nigga's a beehive too, huh? That nigga said don't I call like Beyonce. I like Beyonce, nigga. We love you, queen. Shit. I wasn't talking about Beyonce in general. I'm just saying a woman of. Ben Glorious. Okay, man. but what's wrong with a woman wearing makeup? Can we talk about No, that? I didn't say nothing Nobody wrong with it. I said I prefer I women who don't wear makeup. Why? Because I have the right to prefer what I but like. But why? Can you give us a reason? Because men don't, don't wear like makeup. Because, because First of all, ladies, men don't know what they Cognac boys. Cognac boys. Cognac boys. Spread out of Cognac.